this plate right here, use a 15 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out and then two on the other side. And pull it down. We have to disconnect the two O2 sensors. So there's a connector right up here. Just pull on that lock tab, disconnect that, and then pull the connector down. We'll do the same on this back one over here. Disconnect the connector. There's a little lock tab right here. Just slide that off and then pull up on the connector itself. Pull up on the tab and slide it out. Remove these two nuts right here. It's good to use some rust penetrant, especially if they're rusty. Use a 15 millimeter socket. And sometimes these break and that's okay. Take these two nuts off right here. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And these two nuts, same 13 millimeter socket. When you take the last one out, just support the pipe just so it doesn't fall. And grab the pipe, wiggle it, slide it back and slide it down. On the back side of the converter, you have to go in between the frame and where this differential is or this uh, transfer case is and use a 15 millimeter socket. There's two nuts on the back side. Take those two nuts off. Now we can take the top nut out, use a 15 millimeter socket and just try to get up there and loosen it up. Now this is loose, so make sure before you take that nut completely off that you support it. Right. And slide it right off. We're going to install the studs. What you can do is find a nut that works, that threads onto the stud, and then take one of the nuts it comes with, it's a locking nut, and then tighten these together. It's a 14 millimeter wrench, and then whatever size of the other nut is. Tighten these just snug. Then we're going to install the shorter end into the threaded part, just like that. And snug that down. Do the same with the other one. You can loosen these up. Clean any gasket material off up here. You can use a scraper or a razor blade or even some sandpaper. Just make sure there's no gasket material. Now take the seal, install the seal right there. Make sure it doesn't fall. Just line this up. And then put the bolts on from the back side. And put
put the nut on up top. Tighten these down. Tighten these nuts up. You want to torque those to 37 foot-pounds if you can get in there with a torque wrench. You're going to want to clean up this area. You can use a scraper and scrape up any gasket material. You're going to want to replace it with a new gasket. So get a new gasket for here. Now slide this pipe into place. You can go over the studs in the back. And right here. And put the nuts on. Get them all started. And put the two nuts on back here. And tighten these bolts up. And tighten these nuts down. And these ones also. Now plug in the O2 sensors. Connect that there, and then add that safety. And take the connector, bring it over to the plug, and plug it in. And then take that safety lock and slide it through. Install the crossover shield. Get all the bolts started first. And tighten these down. Attach the negative terminal and tighten that down. Just snug it up, not too tight. And then double check, make sure it's not loose. That's good. Put the cover on. Just slide it on that side first. And put the bolt in. And snug the bolt down. And that's good. Take this cover. This little tab is going to slide right in there first. And then push it down. Slide your carpet over. And if you have the little tabs, push it through the little tab and twist it. 